Hey Gemini, what's going on? I'm CJ. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if it's your first time here. Um, this is going to be your August 2023 general reading. We're going to be pulling from the Tarot of the Spirit deck by Pamela and Joyce Eakins, the Spirit Messages deck by John Holland, and the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Olaf. And if you're interested in any of these decks, um, their Amazon links are going to be in the description box below. So feel free to check out that description, idiot. The da, 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 da. Feel free to check out that description box for any information you think you may need outside of the reading. Forgive me. But um, yeah, it's going to be a general reading. Please keep in mind it's not going to resonate with every last one of you. However, if it does, simply let me know. Show me some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All of that good stuff. All right. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Go ahead and grab some water, some coffee, a snack, um, anything to help you feel comfortable. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into the reading. I'm going to pull from the tarot first. Um, just to get like, you know, past, present, future, um, any information we can regarding the energies you were previously dealing with, currently dealing with, and will be dealing with in the future. All right. So benevolent spirits, the good guys. Um, please give me some information for Gemini for August 2023. Three cards, please. And thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get into the shuffle. Come on, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. All right, I'm going to stop right here. To start, we have the Four of Earth or the Four of Pentacles. All right, let's see what we got next. We got a flipper. Oh, we got Gemini Energy, Nine of Swords. Um, In this deck, it's the Nine of Wind. Um, So we got Four of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Swords. Um, and then we have the Queen of Swords, or the Mother of Wind in this deck. All right, Gemini, so let's see what's going on. It's interesting how we have, um, the Nine of Swords in the present, um, section of the spread. Um, that's your energy, Gemini, the Nine of Swords. Um, more specifically, Mars in Gemini. Um, what I'm getting a sense is right now, you have a lot on your mind, Gemini. And I feel like this has to do with either your finances. It looks like in the past, um, you may have just been like tightening up on finances or just like for some reason you were keeping um, some aspect of your energy to yourself. Um, the Four of Pentacles or the um, Four of Earth in this deck is more so about like, you know, structure, um, applying power to a certain, a certain situation or just like in terms of like your energy, just like keeping your energy to yourself, um, not really like going out, staying home, not traveling, um, not spending too much money. But it looks like, it just seems like right now, um, your mind is just like, it's it, it's focused primarily like on your finances. Um, I'm getting like the areas of the physical realm, Gemini. And then with this Queen of Swords in the future aspect of the reading, I see you keeping your energy to yourself for some reason. All right. But yeah, it looks like in the past, um, you you could have just been like financial. You could have been going through like some form of financial constraint, and right now it's like your mind is just like really busy or preoccupied, um, with that situation. And then in the future, um, I don't see you staying in this energy too long, Gemini. In the future, I see you coming out of it, um, triumphant as this Queen of Swords or the Mother of Wind. Um, the Queen of Swords or the Mother of Wind, you can think of them like the Ice Queen. Um, someone who just, like, stays to themselves. They just, like, they treat with themselves. Um, they're, 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 they're nice up to a certain extent. Like, you know, they'll treat with you. They'll, um, they'll talk to you. 
they'll they'll engage with you but up until the point where you piss them off or to the point where they feel like they have to like separate their energy or protect themselves that's when the ice queen just takes out that sword and just you know goes cali on everybody just chopping off egos cutting people up like she doesn't play right or he um just take it how it resonates the difference between a four and a five is nine so it looks like there's some changes that you have to make um, if you don't want your mind, like, preoccupied with, like, finances or just, like, keeping your energy to yourself, I do see you having to make some changes. And ultimately, I do see you um, fixing whatever the situation is, right? Because with this Four of Earth card or this Four of Pentacles card, we have a keyhole right there. So there's something, um, you have to put this key into this door if you want to get past this, um, this... I don't want to say like financial constraint, but this situation where you kind of have to like limit like how much energy you give to people or how much energy you spend. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, it's like an, there's like an energy of limitation, right? Not so much as like the Five of Pentacles with like the blockages, but there's like some type of limitation. And um, if you have to, I would also say, you know, just like separate yourself or just like take yourself out of the mix right now at least until you can get your mind under control because when your mind is like this it just means that like you know you're enveloped in fear and worry and stress and like something is really like getting the best of you right this this card kind of looks like a screen right and then like in the screen there's like all these images these are all of the things that are like going on in your mind that you're like projecting out into the world so also just be mindful of that. Um, if you can, you know, try some yoga, do some stretches, some meditating, anything to get you back to center so you're not stuck in your head um, with your thoughts going every which direction. And if this is in regards to finances, I can totally understand that. Um, when you're dealing with like a financial constraint, it can definitely play with your emotions, right? But, um, yeah, that's what I got for the tarot. So it just looks like you're just dealing with, um, you were dealing with a financial constraint. And now it's like, I just see you're, 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 you're running your mind wild, trying to figure out ways to, like, resolve the situation or maybe bring in more finances. Or maybe, um, you were dealing with, like, a health issue in the past and now it's, like, it's affecting you mentally and you're just trying your best to balance everything out so that, like... You can get back to good health and you're you're not so like you're not so much mentally stressed right because you don't want to stay in your head with all that stress um i'm gonna pull from the power of surrender cards just to see what you need to surrender gemini because we don't want you stressed out the whole month of august right and we don't want you worried about your finances okay give me one card Two cards came. I'm like, I just need one. Ooh, surrender to divine timing, Gemini. In regards to that stress that you're dealing with, I don't see it. Um, I think I remember saying that when I saw the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Wind, I did say that I saw you coming out triumphant. Like you weren't really staying in that rut for too long. And then like with this surrender to divine timing, it just shows that like sooner or later, um, the situation is going to pass, right? You're not going to be in it for too much longer. So let's see what the Surrender to Divine Timing card says. We have, well, it says here, Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So with that Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, I can definitely see... Um, you stressing about how something is going to play out or just like you worrying about something with this surrender to divine timing um it's not your situation to worry about with all that stress running through your mind you can go ahead and just surrender that or um release that stress over to your higher power right and um your guys are saying you know just surrender to their timing it'll happen on their time as opposed to your time and i know how frustrating that sounds because when you're dealing with something that's like very strict or if you have like a very strict constraint on something um you don't really want to hear surrender to divine timing but it's just letting you know worrying about it and stressing over it is not going to make it 
um, resolve any faster, right? Just surrender to divine timing. Um, the divine will take care of it when they're ready to. And I'm going to pull from the, um, the spirit messages deck just to see if there's any other advice that your guides want to come through with. Okay, Gemini? So, um, benevolent guide, you got any information or any advice for Gemini? Anything to help them out? Ooh, so we have here a father's love, Gemini. It says, a father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or past, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So I'm not really too sure what you're going through, but um, this is just letting you know that you have a guide, a more so like paternal or um, a male um, guide on the other side who's just letting you know that um, they're here for you. And um, I'm assuming that's what the surrender to divine timing card is about. I just felt something in my um, gut, like in my like sacral solar plexus, so I'm taking that as confirmation. But um, this guide or this spirit is just saying, you know, surrender to divine timing. Um, they're working on it for you, Gemini. So um, really, really nice message. Um, your guides come through to let you know that, you know, you don't have to worry about this all on your own. Um, it's not really yours to worry about. And, you know, just surrender to divine timing and don't stress. Try not to stay um, so wrapped up in your head. Try to find a modality that can help you get back into your body, can, um, you know, get you present so you're not focused on whatever that stressful situation is, Gemini. But um, I hope this message helped. Um, if it did, you know, just share the love, reciprocate it back, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. CJ out. Take care.